friends on behalf of career media india private limited i sincerely thank you for your valuable contribution in providing quality service to our customers in a short span since our conception we have been started being rated as the preferred service provider in the durable industry while we got off to a good start we need now to further set industry benchmarks one of our key initiatives at cmi we propose to enhance is asp plus this initiative is not about the different processes or commitments it is simply about a more effective and efficient style in providing service to the new age customer and their demanding expectations a reputable organization like career media india is expected to deliver a prompt and quality service and the most important contributor to this quality experience is the service engineer being the customer facing touch point he represents the company the service center and his own skill set our cmi business partner mr rajiv bhatia has successfully managed to sharpen the art of customer service i am requesting him to share his experience i hope you will find his tips valuable and you can adopt the same in your daily life thank you very much and all the best Hello those Hello friends my name is Rajiv Bhatia and I'm the owner of Bhatia Electronics although I started my career the position of service engineer but very soon I managed to reach this position in my life would you like to know how then watch this story very carefully and I'm sure you can learn lot from it now the first thing you need to understand is that technical knowledge is not everything while technical knowledge is important along with it you need to have a professional approach and the right attitude and if you have these qualities then nobody can stop you from being a successful service engineer and not just service engineer you can achieve anything that you want in life but without these qualities it won't matter how talented you are because you will not be able to reach your full potential This is the first impression is the last impression. Therefore it is essential that you always look the best. Your clothes must always be clean and ironed. Shave every day. And your hair should always be neatly combed. A black leather belt does wonders for your looks. A good watch gives a complete feel to your looks. To appear professional always wear your ID. Always keep a handkerchief with you. They say you can judge a man by his shoes. Do not wear chappals or sneakers. Wear black leather shoes and ensure that they are in a good condition and polished. Favorable appearance can lend you a huge advantage you shouldn't lose out on it. I'm ready to leave for work now. Let's now talk about how to handle customers. Things aren't so bad. Food's a lot better. We used to boil everything. No polio's good. Internet, so helpful. Been reading that a lot, trying to catch up. Marvin Gaye, 1972, Trouble Man soundtrack. Everything you missed, jammed into one album. I'll put it on the list.
Good morning. This is Shefali from Carrier Customer Care. How may I help you, Mrs. Sani? Hi. I have a carrier split AC at home, which is not cooling, and I want to register a complaint regarding that. Your split AC has a low cooling problem. Yes, it was working fine last night, but it is not cooling anymore. Is your address seventy eight A Greater Kailash, New Delhi fifty? Yes. May I have the model number of your AC, please? Hmm. I'm not sure what the model number is, ma'am. It's written on the right-hand corner of your AC. Oh, one second. Ah, uh, superior. Thank you, ma'am. You will receive a call from our authorized service center, and the service engineer within four hours will schedule an appointment according to your convenience. Is there anything else I may assist you with? No, there's nothing else. Kindly send an engineer as soon as possible. In this weather, it's too hot to survive without an AC. Don't worry ma'am we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for calling carrier customer care have a nice day remember i had told you in the beginning about the qualities that make a man successful one of them was efficiency and a service engineer can never be efficient without his tools As a service engineer, it is your duty to make sure that your tools are clean and in working order. You should always double check all your tools before you step out for a visit. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hello. Hello. This is Supervisor Sandeep Kalra calling from Carrier Service Station. May I speak to Mr. Shilpa Sahani? Yes, speaking. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, you have registered a complaint regarding the cooling for your AC. So, we would like to schedule a visit today. What would be a convenient time for you? I will be out of the house from 12 to 3. You can come after that. Fine, ma'am. Can we come at 4? That should be fine. Thank you, ma'am. Our engineer will reach your location at 4 p.m. ma'am. Okay, thank you. Rajiv. Yes, sir. These are today's calls. Attend them on time. Okay, sir. Do not live under the impression that 4:30 is the same as 4. Reach your customer's house 10 minutes in advance. Use this time to check your clothes and hair. Also, don't forget to put your mobile phone on silent mode. Good, Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Rajiv Bhatia and I have come from Carrier Service Station. May I come in? Yes, sure. Where can I keep my helmet? You can keep the helmet here. And please remove your shoes. Ma'am, we have shoe covers. I will put them on. Thank you.
This is the AC. जी. Okay. Ma'am, could I get a ladder or a table? Because I will have to check the AC. Always ask the customer in one go for all that you need. Then spread a drop sheet, and only after that put the toolkit, filter, and other things on it. Don't ask the customer what is wrong with their AC. They have already spent 10 minutes explaining that to the customer care executive. They should not feel that it was a waste of time. Instead, tell them what you know about their AC. This also shows that you have done some preparation before the visit. This leaves a good impression on the customer. Remember how in the beginning I had stressed on how impressions matter? It is as important to make the right impression while working as it is to do the work correctly. Excuse me ma'am the electrical motor has burnt up due to a voltage fluctuation we'll have to replace it a new motor costs 1800 rupees and it will take about 25 to 30 minutes should i replace it mm, okay fine you can replace it always tell the customer what the problem is how much it will cost and what time will be taken to repair it everybody likes to be informed about what is happening and it puts them at ease Switch on the AC. Give me the thermometer. Hmm. Ma'am, your AC motor has been replaced. Mm -hmm. Its flow has also become much better. You can check it now. Yes, it's working fine now. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello sir. sir. This is Rajiv here. Hmm. I have just repaired Miss Sahani's AC. Its motor wasn't working, so I have replaced it. Would you like to speak to her? Sure. sure. Ma'am, would you like to speak to my supervisor for two minutes? If you are satisfied with the services, please let him know. Sure. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am speaking from Carrier Service Center. I would like to know if your AC has been repaired to your satisfaction, ma'am. Yes, it's cooling properly now. If there's a problem again, I will definitely call you back. Sure, ma'am. Please do that. That although I hope that it will not be required. Did the service engineer explain to you what the problem was and what repairs he did? Yes. Did he reach on time and was he properly dressed? Yes, he was. Are you fully satisfied with the visit? Yes. If you have any suggestion, please share with us so that uh, we can help ourselves improve our service. Everything was fine. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Make sure that all the relevant details are recorded in FFSR since it is essential for back-end operations and for subsequent service requests. Ma'am, this is your bill. In mm -hmm. case there's any problem, you can call the customer care. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, we need to dispose of this garbage. Can I put this in the dustbin? Sure, put it here. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
So did you see this? By following simple practices, I kept getting good results, which helped me get appreciation and recognition. And I became a star engineer. And then I got promoted to be a supervisor. And today, I'm the owner of this authorized service center. My story is about hard work. I hope that you will use all that you have learned seeing my story in your professional life and succeed just like me.